So what I have here is three sets of Irish notes, Irish currency notes. Um, we have the Lady La Lavery series, then we have the B series, and then we have the C series. Now, they're not, one of them is full. The B series is full, completely complete. Um, maybe with one note that I'd like to replace. The um, first series has two notes missing, which is the 50 and the 100. And then finally, this C series here, that has only one note missing. So, why don't you sit back, get a cup of coffee, and I'll show you each one of them. Let me know what you think of them. All right. So we're going to start with the oldest notes for Ireland. Um, of course, this came from the 1920s after they got the Free State, but we'll, this is the Lady Lavery series. And um, the first one we're going to look at is a 10 shilling note. Now, the 10 shilling note is one that didn't stay very long because uh, they went to coinage on the 10 shillings. But there it is. Now, these particular notes, um, this series is quite plain. But they ran from 1920s to the 1970s. And, um, you know, I like them. Not a lot of people, they're not the, the, the most, um, in terms of detail and things like that, they don't have a huge amount of detail on them, but they're still really, really cool. So this is the pound note. And they started getting the metal strip for these from 19, 76 uh, I think it was so the metal strip uh, came in around that time and it came from the set from the pound all the way down um, that's a nice looking note again a little plain and on the back they, they basically it keeps the same theme the whole time so it's, it's gonna be very very plain on the back um, but the front's gonna have a little bit more detail um, and again, you know, not everybody's favorite, but we have Lady Lavery there. That's the same, exact same that was on the 10 shillings. And of course, I have guess that uh, the five is gonna be pretty much exactly the same. And it does start to change from uh, the 10 onwards. So this particular one is what? It's 1973. And I think actually the um, the metal strip, this one, you, can, you can't really make it out there. But the metal strip did come in as a security feature in 71, not 75. Um, but again, very, very plain. Um, and also, I may as well just show you now that I have this one. We have the head of Aaron in the, as the water feature there. Cool looking note. Like I said, I don't have everyone in that, uh, in this particular series, but we have up to the 20. So here's the 10. Now, <laughs> I, I, I just wanna say, these are huge notes. They're very big from, I think from really this note onwards, from the, from the, my God, it just gets quite big. So there's the 10, now you can see the the, the, the the image there has been pulled out. You don't just see the face, but you see the arm and you also see um, harp there also. So you're gonna get you a little bit closer. The detail will be a bit easier to pick up because it's such a large note. You'll have two signatures. You'll have the date right down here, which you can see is the 10th of the second, uh, 75, which by the way, that's the 10th of February. And then we have the code up on the top. And here we go again, very uh, plain, but we do have the 10 pounds in the corner that makes it different. And all these notes, I think, uh, that I have from this series are in pretty good nick. In terms of what I have in the other notes, um, these ones are the best. Maybe not so much the five that I showed you. Well, the five is pretty good, but it's not as good as the rest of them. Now here we have 20 pound, gets comically large at this stage. We're again, pretty much exactly the same as the 10. There's not much of, uh, of a difference. 
We'll just literally put down there uh, 20 pounds and then the Irish will be written here. Fiha punt. And then on the back again, a little bit more dressed up, but not much. I think these have a very medieval look about them. And again, they stick with uh, kind of Celtic teams, themes throughout most of the Irish notes and currencies and things like that, which they should because it's Celtic. But they're really nice notes. Um, now, of course, that's the end of that collection because of that series, uh, because it gets very, very expensive as you move on. The next one you could buy is a 50. If I were to spend money on a 50 now, I had to get it in some ways in the same vein of, as what we just seen here. Uh, you'd be talking maybe the 50 to come in at about a thousand euros and then the hundred that would be the last one you can pick up I mean it, it can just go we can go quite crazy on price then so the next up what we have is the B series now I've done um, I've done a video on some of these I think um, on YouTube I think I've done a video on all of them across the social medias but here's the B series and, and this particular one it starts with the pound note so we have the pound note there. Now I can start remembering, this is where I start remembering. This came in, in the very early 90s. These, or sorry, I they finished in the very early 90s. They went from 1970 to the 1990s. Um, and the, 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 the series before the 1920s to the 1970s. So we have these from the 70s to the 90s. Now some came in and out, or not in and out, left a little bit before but they really vamp up the details in this um, this series, uh, very much so. Most probably because the technology was there, but just I'll just show you there. Each one of these is gonna have a figure here on this side. We have Maeve, Queen of Connacht there, and here is just gonna be all Irish writing on this side of the note. Everything written on this side of the note is Irish. And then on the back, <clears throat> we will have the English legal tender here and Bank of Ireland written. That's pretty much the theme that goes through all of these. The five, again, the same thing. We have uh, uh, Scoutus there, he's a, a philosopher. Um, and then we have five over here. Again, everything written in Irish, sticking with that detail, that, that really close up detail. They have in those notes. And then the back, and I love that design. I think it's really, really nice. Again, this is the, the English side here. We'll see Bank of Ireland. I believe it's that Central Bank of Ireland. So that's the five. Now this 10 that I have is not one of the best, but we'll have a look at it. If there's one that I'm gonna replace in this, if there's one that I'm definitely going to replace, it's this one. It ain't that great. Um, but we have Jonathan Swift and um, we stay with the pretty much the same thing, theme. There's not much to talk. I'm going to do videos on each one of these, elaborate on it, show you the different, um, all, all the different details that are in these notes. But for this one, we're just going to go go a quick run through that we see boats coming up and down the river Liffey and since we're on this one which isn't in great shape but I'll just show you the watermark is just there you go it's different to the other series but it stays actually on the next series that we'll look at in a minute the C series but this B series has that watermark which will be the same for the C series so that's the 10 and then on the 20 with WB Yates, is it? Yes, it is. Yeah, WB Yates, and it sticks with a blue color. It's quite nice. This is uh, not a proper holder for the note, so I might get some crazy shine off it. In terms of uh, the condition, it's just okay, but it's um, it wasn't very very expensive. Have a look at the back. I think we have the, the Basket Islands. Again, pretty plain note. Not really much to talk about. Now, this one is one of my one of my favorites, but it has a lot of detail. They all have a lot of detail in this series, but the 50, and that's it for this series. For some off the wall reason, they never released 
a one uh, hundred a pound note in this series. Just never happened. Um, but this one, and I've, I, I've shown this before, but there's, just, uh, there's something about this that I like. And I think it's the details of the notes in the bottom, the musical notes I'm talking about. We have the Irish Wolfhound down there. And again, that detail, exact same theme, continues on that side. Have a look. Very nice. Then we have this here. And I like this side. Again, it's sticking with the instruments, you know. Sticking with the instruments, it's very nice. So that's the B series and that's pretty much what they put in there. That's everything that can be seen on the B series. Now we move on to the final series. Um, this is the C series. Moved from the 1990s all the way to 2000 till we took, they took over from the Euro. And of course we didn't, we didn't have a one, we just had the five. And uh, we have, I've forgotten the name, Catherine uh, McGoldy there. Uh, none, all of these notes have micro lettering and I'd love to show you each and every one. It's just too much effort to do it in one video. So if you want to see the micro lettering on each one of these, it's well worth a look. Or it's well worth looking anyway, I think. So if you want to see it, let me know. This is the 10. One of my least favorite notes. I never liked it at all. Don't just don't don't like it with uh, James Joyce there. And then just again the same theme as the ten in the um, in the B series when we have uh, an aerial view of Dublin, and that's what you see there. Uh, the twenty we have Daniel O'Connell on there. Twenty pounds. This side is actually quite nice. Again, great detail. If you want to see them in detail, let me know down in the comment section, and I'll do I'll do them. This is one with Douglas Hyde. This is the set, the last one for us, but actually the second last in the series, um, as I still don't have the hundred. There we go. That was the first president of Ireland, Douglas Hyde. And I like this, this particular note, it's nice. And then on the back, just like the other 50, we have some form of um, music represented. They're nice looking notes. So there they are now. We're missing one in the C series, which is the 100 pound note. Um, it's very rare. Um, it's not rare in terms of, of price, it's just nobody seems to be selling them. Um, they're roughly going for around 350, maybe 400, a pretty good condition. Um, but if you can get your hands on them, uh, you're doing well uh, because they're uh, rare enough. Um, but, and, and you would think the price would go sky high. Some of them are, when you can see them on eBay, going for just crazy money, but nobody's buying them at that. So it's uh, kind of a stalemate now. But anyway, they're the, 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 the notes that I have from Ireland. Uh, let me know down in the comment section if you like them. Hit a like on the video. Let me know if you want to see these up close. I'm going to do a series on each one, a note series. So we're going to look at each one individually and go through each of the um, individual things that... Uh, are, are different about each note. But let me know down in the comment section what you liked about that video. And uh, sure, I'll see you when I put the next video up. Take it easy, guys. Have a good one. Bye-bye. Guys, connect with me on social media, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Subscribe to me here on YouTube. And if you liked what you've seen, you can see a lot more videos. Just click on any of them here on the screen.